It's a night to enjoy the screening of a popular film along with the musical score performed live. Join me now is Kyle Knox, the conductor of Coco in Concert Live to Film, who is also the associate conductor of the Madison Symphony Orchestra. So the score of the film Coco was written by a Grammy Award winning composer and the song you may remember won an Oscar, Remember Me. What do you as a musician and a conductor appreciate about this music? Um, well, first of all, it's just incredibly warm and tender and has a kind of, um, it has a Latin flair, mm -hmm. but it has an incredible orchestral warmth as well. So there's a lot of dance elements that are just get your toe tapping, but like Remember Me, for example, yes. is such a pulling at your heartstrings kind of tune. It's mm -hmm. so incredibly um, deep and kind of has a, a sentimentality to it that um, just, I think, gets to everyone. I love that song. You yeah. know, when it first came out, it, I think, touched so many people. It's so beautiful. You conducted the first MSO at the movies, which was in the spring, although that one was sections from different Pixar and Disney movies, correct? That's so this right. is the first full film length um, collaboration, That's right. how you yeah. would say it. Um, what do you enjoy about working on something like this MSO at the movies project compared to a traditional concert? Sure. Uh, well, that Pixar extravaganza we did last spring was very enjoyable. Mm -hmm. um, it was difficult in some ways because what you're doing is you're there's no narrative through through line mm -hmm. through the entire show you're just taking snippets from movies mm -hmm. and so it's a little more difficult for the musicians to connect to the story because there's no dialogue there's mm -hmm. just sort of a greatest hits thing happening which is very enjoyable but a different thing in a show like this you're you're actually much like you would do if you were uh, in a pit for a musical or if you were in an opera you you can actually follow a story they hear the dialogue and there's an arc to it that I think makes it the integration of the music and the narrative more natural and a little bit easier. Is that how it works? So they can send you, the movie studio can send you kind of all of the A track or so, so to say, yeah. and then they take all the B track off and you provide it. That's completely it. So they just oh, remove the so soundtrack. Cool. What they what remains are certain sound effects, you know, if like mm -hmm. someone smacks a pot or something, you know, for mm -hmm. comedic effect, that's often sort of baked in. And then the dialogue is baked in. Um, and then it's all like rigorously connected to a click track, which th this I have a score and I have a click track in my ear uniquely. No one else has it. Ah. And then I give beats according to what I'm hearing and seeing and what I see on the screen. And the musicians are just looking at music and just trusting that I'm right, <laughs> basically, so cool. to coordinate with the orchestra or with the, with the movie. So, yeah, it's an interesting challenge. Yeah, that is yeah. a fun challenge. Um, a couple of things I just want to mention for folks who are thinking about going, a couple tickets left. So if you want to go, grab one. But there are some family friendly things happening beforehand as well. That's right. Yeah, there's going to be some. Um, there's going to be a dance thing where I think you can hang out with your kids and learn some Latin dance. Uh, there'll be coloring books and th things good that will be appropriate for younger kids. Um, and then at 6.30, I'm giving kind of a behind the scenes pre-concert talk, which talks about the music and how Michael Giacchino, the great composer for this, uh, for this movie, went about writing the score and how he uses different themes to represent different characters and different moods. I, I think it'll be interesting mm. and good for all ages. Really cool. So if you're looking for something to do, you can hear Coco in concert live to film this Saturday only at 7.30. For ticket information, go to madisonsymphony.org. Kyle, thanks.